Hey guys, just gonna do a quick video series again on the VCX Nano diagnostic tool for your GM vehicle. I did a video on this a few years back, but uh, the procedures have changed as far as uh, downloading the software and installing it and getting it working on your GM vehicle. So uh, I'm gonna do a few videos about that. But first, there's something I wanna do to my laptop. Um, the software for this is kind of sketchy. Um, when you install it, it comes up with a bunch of virus warnings and stuff. So I've just got a brand new laptop and in order to protect it, I want to uh, create a virtual machine on that laptop, which will kind of create a little sandbox for this VCX Nano to work in. That uh, it's basically like a computer inside of a computer and it will, uh, if this does happen to install some virus or something, it will uh, protect the rest of my new computer. So uh, let me uh, fire up the laptop here, show you guys how to install a virtual machine on which you can install the VCX Nano software. Okay, the first thing we need to do uh, in order to install this virtual machine, we're gonna need a copy of Windows 11. Um, that's the operating system I have on this laptop. So that's, I'm gonna use the same operating system for the virtual machine. So if we go into Google and search Windows 11 ISO, click on that link there. Uh, right here where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Click on that Windows 11, click download. got to pick your language and then hit confirm and we want the 64-bit download and this is going to take a little while you can see here there are uh, it's a 6.3 gigabyte file there's 22 minutes left so we will come back and resume the video once this download is done. Okay, now that uh, we are done downloading that Windows 11 ISO, I'm just going to confirm we know where it's at. It should be in the downloads folder, yep, and it is complete. So now we will open up a web browser and we'll uh, Install the, the virtual box manager. So if you go, oh, it's already, I've already been to that website, so it kind of auto completes it. So we'll hit enter. And you want to go down to this big blue button that says download virtual box 7.0. Click on that. Click on Windows host. You'll see it will do another download here. Once that's done, you click on that and it should be in your downloads folder as well. Double click on that to uh, start the installation process. Hit yes. Hit next. I'll just leave everything default. It'll give you a bit of a warning about network interfaces, that's fine, hit yes. Same with these missing dependencies, just hit yes. Click the install button, it'll do its thing. And we're going to leave this box checked to start the uh, virtual box manager and hit finish. And it should Yep, it started up here. Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. Now we want to install a new virtual machine. We'll call it VCX Nano VM. We don't need to select an ISO image just yet. But it is going to be Windows 11 because that's the ISO we downloaded. Then hit next. Here it lets you pick uh, how much memory and how many CPU cores you're going to use. I just leave those default. 
same with uh, you can pick the disk size I'm just gonna go with 50 gigabytes because I won't be doing much with this virtual machine then hit next hit finish and you will see this is the virtual machine right here so you can either click on the start button over here or you can right click on it and hit start down here Go normal start <clears throat> now it will uh, start up the virtual machine okay it popped up in this box behind us here uh, we're gonna maximize that oh. and now it's having a problem because it doesn't have an operating system installed so we're gonna go find that Windows 11 ISO file that we downloaded so go other it's gonna we gotta navigate to this downloads folder pick that Windows 11 ISO we downloaded now hit this mount and retry boot now we will maximize the window press any key it's going to do its thing now this is just like you're installing windows for the first time because that's what you are doing on this virtual machine hit next, hit install now it's going to take you through its setup uh, screen here we don't have a product key um, Windows 11 Home I'm sure is fine uh, let's go Windows 11 Pro hit next you got to accept the terms and conditions hit next now we can't pick this option because um, this only works if you've already got a version of Windows running on the computer so you have to do this custom install uh, we want to install it on that 50 gigabyte partition we just created hit next and it's going to do its thing and take a while here so we'll come back a little bit later alright so uh, wait a little bit here and now it has come up to this screen I'm actually in Canada so I'm going to choose Canada for my region and hit yes And I'm fine with the US keyboard layout. I do not want to add a second keyboard layout. Uh, now we can name our device. We'll call it VCX. Nano VM, same as what we called it in the other menu. Oh, apparently you can't have spaces. But we can have underscores, so let's do that. We're going to set our up for personal use. Um, let's see what our other options are here. Yeah, I guess I'll just sign in with my normal Microsoft ID. don't want to restore from a backup I'm gonna go set up as new PC 
Yep, that's fine. You can create a pin. No, I don't want it to know my location. Yeah, I don't care about find my device. I don't want to send any more information than I absolutely have to. I don't care about improving inking and typing. Don't want my apps to use advertising ID. Don't care about using my phone for my PC. Don't care about importing from any other browsers. Don't need Game Pass. We can switch here to a full screen view. So there you go. It is full screen. So there we go. Uh, virtual machine is installed. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this video and in the next one we'll go over installing BCX Nano on this virtual machine. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.